Hello there, I'm Dr. Roberta Dwyer from the Glucky Equine Research Center, and what we're going to talk about today is cleaning and disinfecting stalls. That procedure is something that you'd want to do after a mare foals in her stall so that you can get that disinfected before the next mare foals. For any animal that is diseased, where especially a contagious or an infectious disease, after that animal uh, is all better, you can go in and disinfect to get all the pathogens or the majority of the pathogens out of that stall. And if you have another horse coming in, disinfecting in between stalls or when they get extremely dirty is also another good time to go ahead and clean and disinfect stalls. There's multiple different types of surfaces that you have to consider, both for the walls and for the flooring of stalls. On the outside of this stall is varnished wood, which is a non-porous surface. That's very good to, to clean, it's easy to clean, it's easy to disinfect. Uh, porous surfaces like raw wood, uh, dirt obviously is very porous or sand, are very difficult to clean and disinfect. But in reality, when we see your typical horse barn, we're dealing a lot of times with raw wood. And there are things that you can do to decrease the contamination of pathogens in those stalls. So what we're going to do is walk you through cleaning and disinfecting stalls. And the one that we're going to use is a raw wood stall with rubber flooring. And we're going to just take you through how you would adjust this cleaning and disinfecting, disinfecting uh, regime for your particular type of stall. One of the first things you want to do is to completely muck out the stall and remove all buckets, feed pans, hay nets, anything that can be physically removed from the stall, and we'll disinfect that later. So you want essentially a naked stall to deal with. So you start washing from the top going down the sides of the stall, and then water will drain to the, the center drain in, within the stall. You want to be sure to use a detergent when you're cleaning stalls because you've got a lot of organic matter that's attached to the walls and on the floors, and a detergent is going to be able to emulsify that and get as much of that organic matter off of the stall as you can. After you've washed the stalls from top to bottom and rinsed, if you still have stains, especially manure covered areas that require a little bit more scrubbing, you really need to get after those with a scrub brush and, and uh, a lot of elbow grease. And then you do a final rinse just from the top to bottom to get all the um, organic matter, all the detergent or soap off of those stall walls. Again, top to bottom, from the edges down to the central drain in the floor. Feed buckets, water buckets, hay nets, those need to be scrubbed down to remove, again, any organic matter. Use that, do a detergent just like you did with the stalls. Get those really clean if you've got, ever had an outbreak of strangles. That particular bacteria loves to live in little water buckets and where there's moisture and organic matter. So scrubbing those things out, rinsing them, and then putting on an appropriate disinfectant, letting it soak, and then rinsing it with uh, potable or drinkable water is the, the best way to take care of these types of uh, pieces of equipment. Any reusable towels or your own clothing that has been used with a horse that has had a contagious disease, those can be thrown into the washer pre-soaked with some disinfectant and some detergent, and then run through the regular uh, wash cycle so that those items can be then safely reused with other animals. Mm -hmm.